Yay there, this is Carrie with PacketBomb.com. Here's a quick video for just my email subscribers. So it's not going to be on my website. It's just for you guys on the email list because I love you. Here's a question I got from someone. Um, they wanted to know if you could graph packets per second against the number of bytes per packet. Well, you can. You can do it. And I'm going to show you how. So Wireshark... You can graph lots of things. I There are probably better tools for graphing and charts and whatnot, but I'll show you how to do it. So if you have your capture, you go to statistics and then IOGRAPH. IOGRAPH by default shows you packets per second. Let me make this real big, just real big. Um, okay, so the y-axis is packets per tick. The x-axis is seconds per tick. Let's make it a little stretched out. There we go. So that gives me half of what I want to know, but I also want to see this against the length of each frame. So what we're going to do is change this y-axis to advanced, super cool expert advanced. Well, I now want to just basically duplicate the graph you just saw. So the way I would do it, the way I'm going to do it is graph frame.number. Frame.number is just the number of the frame in the capture file. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. I don't care about the actual number I want to graph. I want to count the number of frames that have this field, which is all of them, right? Every packet's got a frame.number. So I want to count them and I'm going to graph them. And voila, that should look familiar to you. It's the same graph, packets per second. So again, I'm just counting the frames that have this field. Every frame has this field. So we're just counting them over time. Uh, now I want to show the length of each frame. That would be frame.length. And for this, we'll just do average. How about that? And graph that. And there you go. The red line up top is the the bytes per frame, and the black line down here is the just basically the number of frames over time. So in the beginning we have you know the average frame length is between like five and six hundred bytes, I guess, and the packets per second is down here less than a hundred, and then right around a minute and a half they kind of swap a bit there, maybe. This, if you were troubleshooting, you would probably be very interested in what's happening at this time period. You know, I don't know. This this is your thing, not mine. Okay, so that's, you know, IOGRAPH is very powerful. You can graph pretty much anything that you want. Um, and when you graph different things together, you can spot problems. So I'll be using this going forward in plenty of videos. Uh, so if you have questions about this, let me know. If you have other things you have questions about, I can make a, a quick one of these. Ask carry videos just for the special people on the email list. All right. Thanks. We'll talk soon.